Tonight to our ongoing series, The Price of Paradise, as we continue to look at the rising cost of living in Tampa Bay, and part of it is preparing for more and more people moving here. City of Tampa is spending hundreds of millions of dollars to future-proof one of our most valuable resources, water. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska got an exclusive tour of the mega project. The very first water plant in the city of Tampa was built more than 100 years ago, and they're still using it today to clean our water. I'm standing inside that building. Some of these pipes more than 100 years old, and they are at capacity. They can't keep up with the demand of our growing population, and that is why they have all of these new projects in the works. These are the original levers and gauges, and so the valves that are used to direct the flow of the water into the filter and out of the filter, it was, uh, I mean, like a manual type right. thing, right? The city of Tampa's original water treatment plant is a time capsule. The pipes project, short for progressive infrastructure planning to ensure sustainability, updating the system to the 21st century and beyond. This is certainly the largest water master plan projects that we've taken on in Tampa's history. Chuck Weber is the director of the Tampa Water Department. We're at a point where uh, this plant is essentially maxed out on its treatment. This plant was a originally designed to treat 8 million gallons a day. We are averaging right around 80 million gallons a day today. He gave us an up-close look at the project. Workers climbing towering concrete walls to build out a new clear well, a giant basin to store clean water before it gets pumped out across the city. A brand new state-of-the-art ion exchange system is also in the plans. The technical aspects of how it works are complicated, but explaining what it does is easy. It will clean water from the Hillsborough River in a new way. And it's called suspended ion exchange. That process will remove a lot of the total organic carbon, which is what makes the Hillsborough River look brown. It's that tea color. Right now, we use a coagulation process and ozone to remove that, and it takes a lot of chemicals to do that. Not using so many chemicals will save the city millions, and they won't need to rely on liquid oxygen supplies. During the pandemic, the city of Tampa actually lost all their shipments coming in for liquid oxygen. These are three massive tanks that were basically empty because that oxygen was going to hospitals. So they had to figure out other ways to clean their water. And that's part of the reason why they're doing all of these different projects to make it more resilient. So if something happens to one, another area can pick up the slack. Workers like Carlos Washington are busy day in and day out doing repairs. The original pumps and filters from 100 years ago still operating around the clock. Are you guys always dealing with things that go wrong and, and failures where you're scrambling to make sure the water stays on? Well, you know, there are days where it's a scramble, but water treatment plants uh, are built with redundancy. And so there's always a backup plan. And so uh, when we do have an issue, we fall on the backup plan, we practice the backup plan, so we're always ready. Transporting liquid chlorine is becoming very expensive. You actually have to buy insurance to make it happen these days. Plans are in the works to produce chlorine on site, saving more money and adding another layer of resilience. Severe storms, population growth, climate change, all at top of mind. But the project isn't cheap, $2.9 billion. Customers are paying a new base rate with gradual increases for water and wastewater over the next 20 years. I'm all about just making sure when the customer wakes up in the morning, turns on the faucet, they never have a doubt that clean water is going to come out. And so if we can continue to achieve that, uh, continue to meet the tighter regulations, make sure that we have a wa an adequate water supply, that's what this is all about. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.